Happy Sunday 4th, or happy December 4th. It's a Sunday. Uh, went to church this morning. It's a good service. Pastor Don always puts on a good service. Um, I'm getting looking, I'm looking forward to reading these <clears throat> more and more every day, even though I don't pronounce everything correctly. But um, reading these 24 chapters to give you an introduction of the reason for this season. So that's, that's, uh, if I didn't explain that before, that's why I'm doing this, but get my spectacles on. <clears throat> then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of a God, command the stone to become bread. But Jesus just answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you, and their glory for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, We shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an, oppor an opportune time. When Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, <clears throat> and the news of him went out through all the surrounding region. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. So he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and had, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue of the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set all liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. <clears throat> then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. He began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So, before, so, bo so all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words that proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, This is not Joseph's son. He said to them, you will, be sure, you will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal thyself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine through all throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except Zarephath, Zarephath in the region of Sidon to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. So all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city. And they led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then passing through the midst of them, he went his way. Then he went down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. And they were astonished at his teaching, for his word was his, with authority. Now in the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit of unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we done? What have we do to do 
with you, Jesus of Nazareth. Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet, and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him in their midst, it came out of him and did not hurt him. Then they were all amazed and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word this is. For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the report about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. Now he arose from the synagogue and entered Simon's house. But Simon's wife's mother was sick with a high fever, and they made request of him concerning her. So he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and, left, and it left her. And immediately she arose and served them. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons also came out of the man, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. Now when it was day, he departed and went into the deserted place. And the crowd sought him and came to him and tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Galilee. There you go. There's chapter 4. Any of you watching this, I appreciate it. I hope it's, I, I, I hope it's opens you up. I hope uh, the, the more, I do know the more you read and the, and the more you uh you know, read the Bible and everything, that the more it opens up to you. When I first started reading the Bible, you know, it's just, it's nonsense. I mean, every every word I read of the Bible was like ch chapter 4 of Luke. I mean, that didn't make a lot of sense to me. But, um, you know, would, I just I just pray that everybody repents and repents their sins and, and opens their heart to God. And, and it's a lot better life. I got to tell you that. It surely is. And, uh you know, just do two things. This world will be a lot better place. Let's love God and love your neighbor. Jesus Christ, amen. Have a blessed day.